Harbor Freight Tools, do they have a place in your workshop or should you spend your money elsewhere? Let's go ahead and find out. Now, I'm a huge believer in stepping up to the plate and buying once and crying once. However, there's always an exception to that rule. And today we're gonna to talk about 10 of those items that you can pick up from Harbor Freight Tools. Boom, let's start things off really simple. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for some time, you know that I specialize in custom CNC signage. I primarily do mostly woodworking, so I'm staining wood blanks all the time, and I burn through these nitrile gloves like no other. These retail for $9.99 for 100 of them. I like the five mil, and these do go on sale from time to time. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that these are the most durable, high-quality gloves, but again, for $9.99, I'm only staining sign blanks, so I use these for a very minimal amount of time. If you're gonna be a little more aggressive with your rubber gloves and you need something more durable, there's plenty of other different options out there, but just for your basic woodworker workshop, these are a killer buy from Harbor Freight, so that's item number one. Let's jump on to the next. Woo! <laughs> item number two, ladies and gentlemen, Come on, shop towels. If you spent any amount of time in any type of workshop or wood shop, you know you're gonna burn through shop towels. And if you wanna have a good relationship with your wife or your girlfriend, and you don't want them chasing you out of the kitchen, grabbing those paper towels, go to Harbor Freight, this giant roll, you get 200 of these, 10.99 retail. And again, these do go on sale. This is a nice high quality paper towel that's not gonna disintegrate on you and ruin your projects. Again, big fan, pick up some of these heavy duty paper towels. Now this has been one of my personal favorites and it's something that's often overlooked and I don't see a lot of people talk about it, but if you have ever made a cutting board or you do a lot of different glue ups in your shop, obviously a good practice is to use a wet rag and clean up as much of that excess glue as you can. However, we all know that just doesn't happen and once that glue dries and is super hard, it destroys your planer blades and jointer blades and as we know, those are far more expensive than picking up one of these paint scrapers from Harbor Freight. This retails for $5.99 and it comes with an indexable blade that has four different blades. So when one wears out, simply loosen up the Phillips screw and rotate it to a new blade. This thing works wonders. Once that glue is dried up, it's got a nice big handle here. Grab the handle here and you can scrape all that excess glue off of your board prior to running it through your jointer or planer, saving some money. Moving right along to item number four, that's gonna be this set of Pittsburgh four inch putty spreaders. I primarily use these for laying down my mask on a sign. So if I stain a sign blank, I come in and engrave it and I wanna be able to paint that engraving a different color, I'm gonna need to lay down a paint mask and that's where these come in extremely handy once that paint mask is down. I've seen people using everything from credit cards to uh, cardboard. Stop what you're doing, head to Harbor Freight, pick up a pack of these, you get 20 of them. Uh, these retail for $7.99, and uh, as they get worn out, you can throw them away. Another thing that I utilize these for is if I need to do a lot of repair on something, you can spread your wood putty really well, and when they get all jacked up and damaged, who cares, you throw them away. You get 20 of them for $7.99. So again, every small wood shop workshop, you should have some of these. Item number five. I've actually been really impressed with these US General uh, small ultra grip parts trays. Uh, they're made out of silicone and they have uh, quarter inch hex driver storage. Uh, one of the challenges that I run into quite often is I have this MFT style work table, which works great when I want uh, dog bones in here. But the problem is whenever I'm disassembling stuff, I'm always losing those small parts through the holes. And then I'm always in here in the torsion part of the box digging that stuff out. Uh, this will go ahead and eliminate that. Although $16.99 is a little bit on the pricier side, uh, it's high quality, it's really nice. Uh, it's got quarter inch hex bit storage. Uh, it's made out of nice silicone and there's no magnet on it. I do like the magnets, don't get me wrong, but if you're working on something that's freshly painted like a car or a truck or a finished product in your shop, one thing that's really nice about this not having any magnets is you don't have to worry about it scratching or damaging anything, so again, Big fan of the silicone parts tray, and they make two different sizes. I have the smaller one, and again, $16.99. Always look for the stuff when it goes on sale. Moving on, guys. Item number six, and this one might have some differing opinions. However, I've had really good luck with it, and that's gonna be the Merlin 20-piece premium air compressor accessory kit. Uh, this unit does retail for $24.99. What workshop doesn't need an air source? I utilize my air compressor every single day, 
and I'm always running out of attachments. So go ahead and pick yourself up one of these kits. It's gonna cover most everything you need. Um, as long as you use Teflon tape properly, I get really good life expectancy out of these. I don't see any need to go and buy a premium fitting. Again, I'm a small business hobby slash workshop. Um, I have worked in a big industrial shop where they did utilize these uh, kits. And again, as long as you have a clean air source, uh, your air source is does not have any leaks and you're using your Teflon tape properly and you're not using uh, excessive PSI on all your tools. I've had zero issues with this and it's a great bargain. And again, guys, this stuff goes on sale all the time. Let's go ahead and talk about item number seven. That's gonna be the 30 bin wall mount parts rack. This one retails for $19.99 and if you look on the website, they make a bunch of different versions of these. They have a floor mount, they have one with casters on it. Uh, they have all different types. Almost all of your industrial online websites sell these plastic parts bins. However, nobody can touch the Harbor Freight price. And guys, look, at the end of the day, we're simply talking about an injected molded piece of plastic. There's no need to go spend two to three times the amount buying from a site like uh, a big industrial site. These work perfectly fine. I'm a big fan of the 30 bin wall mount because as you can see behind me, I've got a giant French cleat wall. So this setup right here allows me to take this out of the box. I simply attach a French cleat to the back of the bracket and then I go ahead and hang that on the wall and then I utilize these bins for uh, manufacturing. So whenever I'm doing stuff like I'm hanging uh, the wall hangers on the back of my signs, I have all these bins set up with all the proper hardware. Again, $19.99, you can't beat this at Harbor Freight. Item number eight, nothing fancy, kind of boring. However, when they go on sale, you just can't beat the pricing. And that's just gonna be these utility hooks. This one here is a nice 3 8 inch. It's got some silicone uh, protectant on it, but uh, I've been a big fan of these. I utilize these around the workshop or up in the front part of my garage all the time. Uh, so don't be afraid to pick a bunch of these up when they go on sale. Trust me, you can find all different kinds of uses in your shop. Let's go ahead and talk about item number nine, and I will preface this with, I'm not a licensed electrician, so don't ever take electrical advice from me. However, I do like these Vanguard 25 foot 12 gauge cables. Uh, this one is the one with three different uh, plugs on the end. So again, this falls back in the every tool has a place in its shop. I'm not out running a construction crew and running heavy equipment all day and putting this thing through its paces. I don't know what the quality of the wire is inside the insulation. For me, I'm simply utilizing this in my shop. I'm only running one or two machines. I've got a corner in the back that does not have any outlets, so I'm able to utilize this. I've used these cords forever in this type of environment and I've had no issues with it. Um, when it comes to something electrical like this, I probably would not use this on a job site if that's how you make a living. But for home shop work purposes, I have no issues recommending you pick up one of these for your workshop. And last up is item number 10. This thing retails for $41.99. It's a 30 foot retractable cord reel and it does have two plugins at the end. But keep in mind the 25 foot cord was 12 gauge. This one's only 16 gauge. So be very mindful of how much power you're plugging into this extension cord. I personally purchased this because I have a corner uh, of my shop that just doesn't have any electrical outlets. So I mount this up on the ceiling and I would imagine everybody has that one area in their shop where they always have a hard time getting power to. As long as you mount this up on the ceiling, it's out of the way. You're not tripping over it every single day. This will solve that problem. And I also wanted to have access to uh, the surrounding area of my shop. So this works out perfect. And again, these do go on sale. So at $41.99, we're getting a little bit up there in the price point, but uh, if you wait for it to go on sale, again, this is a good buy. I've used these for years. I haven't had too many issues. Just when it comes to electrical, a word of caution, just don't plug in too much power. You don't wanna to pull too many amps through this stuff. And remember, it's only 16 gauge. Well, there you have it guys, 10 quality items from Harbor Freight. Yes, I said quality that you can buy, save some pennies and put in your workshop. The reality is inflation is crazy, lumber's tripled. You gotta save some pennies where you can to survive these tough times. So put your ego aside, buy some Harbor Freight. I own everything from Festool down to Harbor Freight. I'm not a tool snob. There are so many people out there that have hardly any tools that can build stuff 10 times better than I ever could. So don't let people shame you. Buy what you can afford. Get out there, have fun, be creative, and make stuff. If you guys want to see this type of content posted daily, 
Make sure you're following all my other social media links. I have those down here below. If you guys wanna support the channel, just give me a thumbs up. If you do like this content and you got some value, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. But the big thing is, drop a comment, guys. Let me know what things that you like from Harbor Freight. Let me know other items you want me to review from Harbor Freight, and I will be having a part two. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video.